Hello YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, here we are on the first day of the big build. So I'm just going to switch the camera around and you can see where the site is and what we're going to be doing. So here's the site. It's going to be down there and we are going to work with that. We're going to start digging the foundations and we've got some timber and we've got some basic materials. We've got ply up there. With all sorts of postcrete so we're going to start that that's the first part so i'm looking forward to it first breaking of the ground is down here in this corner and we will dig that and then we will set out the foundations get the plumb lines from here but let's get a point so that's what we're going to do we're going to dig in down here So I've just made a jig, a simple jig, measuring stick. So that's going to be below ground, that's going to be up ground. Then when I'm digging all my holes for the foundation, then measure it, really simple. So that's day one. We have done the perimeter, lots of compound angles. So lots of fun, lots of cutting, um, lots of thinking. <laughs> um, so yeah, just gonna show you, that's day one. So we'll just switch the camera around. Right, day one, we have a 90 degree, a 90 degree, and we're coming back here. 90 degree and then we're into okay got a bit of cutting on the end there not finished that one but that's okay we've got it on there so that's going to come down and then you can see that works out at that angle that comes round that is 90 on there and then we've got round here we've cut this into a piece of oak and you can see the angle that that's coming back there so um so standing out That's where it is. That's the, and we're going to start filling in the rest of the base and the framework tomorrow. Um, this is Saturday, March the 19th, I think. 
there you go. Day one, people. Day two of the big build. Here we are. We're just going to carry on with the foundation. Um, so there'll be more, uh, obviously, more footage, as you see, of day two. So it's Sunday, March the 20th. Yes, and the sun is shining. It's perfect day. Perfect day for being outside. So enjoy. That's what we're going to be at today. Just following on more of what we did yesterday, but just uh, continue to build the, the foundation. So we're just creating a plumb line. Uh, my plumb line, actual string, my plumb line is already spaghetti, so I've given up on it. So we're using uh, some nice four by two uh, that is we'll be getting in. So that gives us a good line anyway. So we're going to follow these and we're going to have them centered. So going this way, we're digging down in here. So we've got three going that way. And then we are also, you can see the spacing because of uh, the centers for the Celotex and the, the uh, insulation that's going to go on when we've built the frame and everything else. So the floor and the insulation in the flooring. So that's where the plumb line is for that. And I'm going to do a load of straight lines in here. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay, plumb lines, that's what we're looking at here. My plumb line has already disintegrated into a ball of spaghetti, so I've given up on it, these cheap plumb lines. So I've gone through so many of them. Ha! <laughs> anyway, we, so we're just uh, using a nice length, 4.8, 4.8 meters, a four by two, which is long enough for, for what we need here. So you can see, sorry about the shaky camera. So you can see we're creating the lines, the plumb line, digging the holes for all the foundations. So you can see how that actually comes together. Uh, so that's plumb lines for you that I'm using that. I haven't got a laser level or I haven't got anything like that. And maybe I should get a retractable plumb line, maybe. But actually there's nothing better than a really good straight uh, piece of timber. And then when you put your, your level on it, oh, hang on a minute. Sorry for the shaking. Zooming in, ha, that's what I call back of the net. <laughs> or scoring a touchdown for you guys in America, if you're into that sort of thing, or hitting a home run. Whatever your sport is, that's what it is. It's level. There we go. So you really get a, uh, there you go. You can see, uh, I do like a challenge. You're doing a, a, a square, absolutely square, whether it's 10 by 10, 24 by 16, or 10 meters by 10 meters. That'd be really easy. See all the various angles. You can see it, you see it on there, can't you? Above. So that's what we're doing. We're working all of that out. And, uh, but it makes it a lot of fun. Well, I think it's a lot of fun anyway. Some of you might think that's a nightmare. <laughs> Day three, uh, it's Monday morning. Um, been busy all morning on the job, uh, getting uh, materials, ordering materials from Juicens, uh, building merchants and other stuff and screw fix, been out and about. So a busy morning already and I haven't actually done a lot on this job, but I haven't actually physically done any building yet because there's been a lot of uh, <laughs> background stuff. Anyway, we're here for day three. I've got a lot more digging to do. <laughs> Has anyone ever been excited about digging holes? <laughs> well, there's lots more of the foundations to do. It's a big, it's a, it's a 
big area. It's a big uh, big garden room and, sh and uh, shed workshop. So uh, just gonna show you what we've done, where we're up to, and then <laughs> we're gonna crack on. Okay, you can see we've done quite a bit, but we've still got quite a bit. We've got that whole area to dig the foundations for, all around the side, at the back, down there. We've done these, we've done the holes. Some of them have got to be concreted in, which I'm gonna do, uh, but I've got quite a lot of, uh, so yeah. <laughs> A lot of digging, a lot of foundations. So get the foundations right, nice and level and nice and square. And then uh, it makes for a much easier build. So it's just about process, nice big hole. That was where a big fence post came out because it was in the way, we had to dig that one out. And you can see looking back here. So that's what I'm gonna get on with today. Day four. <laughs> Gonna show you what I've done. The sun is still shining. It's shining. It's a beautiful day, and that doesn't that make you feel good? Love it when it's look. Oh, what a blue sky day. Ah, amazing. Just not a cloud in the sky, which means it's just gonna be a perfect day. Um, looking forward to it. Got uh, a lot going on today. Got deliveries coming, uh, juicens, building uh, building supplies, build, uh, are bringing, uh, delivering, uh, getting my brain in gear, delivering a, a load of uh, materials, timber and all sorts of things, because that's enough for the all the walls and, and starting to get the, the, the roof. So we've got a lot of materials to be delivered today. Um, continuing to finish off, we are close to digging my, uh, only four more holes, I think, to dig. So uh, it's been a big area to, to do on my own and, and with a bit of help from my, uh, uh, uh the uh the customer his name's steve so absolutely awesome he's been absolutely awesome just getting in there uh after he's done some work work day and then he came out yesterday at the end of the day for about an hour and just spurred me over the line because uh, i was <laughs> i was getting a bit dead on my feet but we kept going we essentially hit our target i hit my target for where i wanted to get to yesterday so really pleased and steve came out at the end of his day of working uh, and uh, just got me a little bit towards that line so really pleased so going to show you what's going on all right so there we go we have uh all the floor joists starting to go in we've done that got a bit of concreting to do so we did a lot yesterday I, it was a lot achieved yesterday a lot um, we got a couple in there just to dig and a couple on the back. Um, I put some really big ones on the back because uh, the earth disappears over the back of the fence. It's dropped down quite a way. So I put in some really big supports down there. So there's those oak sleepers that are forming part of the foundation. Um, you could park a tank on here when it's, uh, when, once it's finished, it's gonna be that strong. So super pleased. Um, each of the each of the posts go down about 12 inches into the ground um, and are concreted back up so looking good so that's what we've got to do and then I'm going to put the noggins in so we're going to cut the noggins in and you'll see that going in so that will be we'll be getting on to that today 
and then we start laying the floor soon. Uh, we've got the cellar text. It's actually not cellar text. It's, it's juice and zone, uh, but that'll be the insulation that's going in. Um, the battening goes underneath just to support it. Uh, the cellar text and the, the insulation goes on the bottom and you'll see that. And we have, uh, and then we've got the wrap. We've got the uh, breathable membrane that goes over it. And then we've got the floor boards. Well, it's uh, 18 mil exterior ply is what we're using on the floor. So you'll see that as we go along. So that's gonna be the day. And the weather is beautiful. The foundations essentially uh, now I'm going to start the noggins across so you'll see them they go across um, it's just when you're doing foundations to make sure you don't leave any holes little little sunken bits are particularly around your foundations where you put in because water can little little mini mini lakes underneath you want to fill those in so I've just backfilled I've uh, concrete all the way nearly to the top backfill so you've got all, as you can see, we don't want, because rain will get under there. Water always finds a way. So we need to make sure that that's all backfilled. So water can't sit there under the foundations. So it's all good. Now we're gonna start the noggins. Jason's arriving with some long timber, more materials. Backing in. So this is just the insulation. So we've got the rect seal. Um, how many sheets have I got? Eight, no, seven. One, two, three, four. Seven sheets at the minute. I don't want to be overrun with this stuff. So uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use rect seal on the rest of the build. It'll be the floor and then we'll use up what we've got into the build. And then uh, probably be a different type of insulation around the walls, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> Maybe it won't be. Maybe we'll get some more rectus seal. There we go. We've got all the noggins in. I don't think I need any more than that. I've worked out where the roughly where the joints are for the uh, the floorboard, the the eight mil, eighteen mil um, ply that's going on the floor. So uh, that should be good. If there's any more, I have to put in just to join the. Uh, the ply up then I'll do that but essentially there yeah, the noggins we've done it all and I've now waiting for a delivery because I need uh, some more material and it's arriving anytime now so I'm expecting it and then I can get the battening in and then I can get the uh, rectocil in awesome <laughs>
uh, the building now, the walls. No, not a lot. No, not a lot. Most of it, there's a bit left. Just stick it on top. Yeah, that'll be fine, then we'll, we'll lift it in. Is that alright? Will it be alright? Yeah, it just it keeps it neat then, doesn't it? And then I can lift it in one bit at a time. <laughs> That's a nice amount of material delivered. Expertly done in, craned in. Another day! It is Wednesday the 23rd of March. The sun is still shining. Wow, I couldn't have picked a better week, could I, for this? No idea, not really, uh, no idea really how long this weather's gonna stay like this, but it's spectacular. <laughs> it's not a drop of rain, nothing, which makes for a much easier build when you're working outside. So, very happy. Another good day ahead. Um, we've got, as you saw last night, we've got all the, uh, essentially the foundations are built. I'm gonna now start building the floor. Got the, uh, the insulation to go in, and then the, the uh, 18 mil floorboards, the fly that will go across the floor. We've got to wrap it as well. We've got a water, uh, waterproof, mem breathable membrane that's going along uh, over it all as well. So. It's gonna be snug. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to start cutting in all the small, all the, all the rectosil, which is gonna go in. I've just got to cut it into all the squares and cut it into the, so a <laughs> bit of fun this morning, but easy cuts, because the saw goes through that like butter. So awesome. So I've just had another delivery and I thought I'd show you the site, uh, all the materials. I've just had all the sh a load of shiplap delivered. Uh, for all the cladding outside. So I'm gonna, just gonna show you around the site so you can see what's actually going on. So there we have all the shiplap which has just been delivered. And as we spin around there, under there is the OSB, pile of OSB under there. And we've got all the four by two and the five by two and battening all up against the wall here. So that's the site and then we're down there. You can see actually where it's been built. So there you go.
end of the day, I'm tired, but I think I'm allowed to be tired. Um, day five, the build. So we have essentially, we've just got a bit more, but we've, I'm gonna call it wreck to seal day. That's what this is. Tons and tons, as you've seen, <laughs> uh, tons of cutting. Um, took basically most of the day to get it in. And I was turbocharged by uh, a good friend of mine who's a, who's a carpenter, a uh, year's experience. So uh, that was brilliant. He just came down to help. I mean, brilliant. That's what, that's what friends are for, isn't it? So yes, so I'll just spin the camera around and you can just see close hand what we've done. So you can see we've got the uh, breathable membrane, which is going down. Uh, that's what I use. So you can see that and we've got 18 mil uh, exterior ply on the floor. All the joints are being glued, glued and screwed. So it's going down nice, bit of weight just to hold the, that down uh, while the glue takes. Some good oak and we can see that there. So we've got that. So just put them over there just to protect the rector seal tonight, uh, but it's all good. So that's the day's work tomorrow. I'm going to have a bath and I will come back to start fresh in the morning. So see you then. Thursday the 24th and the sun is still shining. I knew that because I'd looked at the weather forecast, but it's still nice to wake up and see it. A little bit of, little bit of a ground frost on the floor this morning, but yeah, it's going to be a gorgeously warm day again for early, very early spring. So uh, loving it. Um, yeah, Thursday the 24th. We're heading towards a, a week, not quite. We've essentially, I'm going to finish off the flooring this morning. Uh, and then we're going to start doing building the walls. So, and setting the pitch of the roof. So we've got quite a lot to do. Good fun. So here, I'm just cutting a piece that's smaller because cutting a big piece into there, trying to put that on, that's unwieldy. So I'm cutting a piece that's just oversized with all the angles that are going on there. And then I can offer that up and then cut it in. So that's how I'm doing it. It's two stages really, but it's the most practical way because trying to work it out with a big board, it just won't go in there. So cut a piece that's slightly oversized and then I can cut it in. An essential when you're building outside something like this some quick clamps I've got a few and they just can you know, they are almost the most important tool I mean everything's important but you really couldn't do something like this without some decent quick clamps to uh, grip things to hold things they become your second third and fourth man if you're building on your own if you're building with somebody then uh, then well, they're still important, but you can obviously start to get away with it. But if you're building something on your own, then get some quick clamps because they are irreplaceable. Stage one, completion. 
that makes for a very satisfying day at work, doesn't it? The base is made. Um, I'm going to put this, this will be episode one, stage one of the build. Um, so hopefully you've really enjoyed this. Um, and it's been an amazing, amazing, uh, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, as you probably can guess and probably can see from the, uh, the video. But I've never been afraid of hard work. And uh, an honest day's work is, is a fair day's work when you put your put the effort in and the customer's really really happy uh, which they are <laughs> they're loving it so um, really pleased so that's stage one of the build um, and what else are we going to show you um, I'm just going to stand up so you can actually see all around it's all been cut in now all the lines are ready so I'm going to be the next stage will be stage two will be uh, starting to build the walls so I'm just going to show you around so you can see the lines coming down there, that it intersects at that point and goes off at that angle. <laughs> and then we are coming across here. So if we come to this end, you can see that, how that runs in. And then we're running back across here and across the front so that's going to be the next what i'm putting down the back is i've got some i don't know if you can see it here is it to hand there it is if you can see that that's going to go around the back that's to stop any rats and things or uh going underneath so just put that down it'll uh, you not stop mice and things but any bigger animals that want to come down out here and make their home underneath i'm just going to put that all around the, particularly the back um and then we're going to do something different at the front but that'll be decorative but at the back it just needs to be practical stop any animals coming through so that's stage one so if you've liked the video and you've managed to watch it this is slightly longer uh than uh, my other videos but there's a lot going on here then it really i really would appreciate a thumbs up a thumbs like press the like button and uh, if you're new, please subscribe. There's lots on my channel, lots of different aspects to it. Um, I'm big into well-being and men's health, men's well-being. Uh, so there's a series running on that. Check it out. Go and have a look. Um, but this is uh, um, stage one of the of the certainly this. This is a big build and it's a, a really complex build. It's got lots of stuff going on. So please like and subscribe. And uh, there'll be some videos floating around here for some other stuff in the, uh, uh, in the in the workshop. But this is me on tour, as we said, out on tour. I'm on site. Uh, I'm doing a, a, obviously back at work now, so able to do this. Uh, so looking forward to it. And uh, I will see you soon. So from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, take care, everybody. Bye.